Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. So over the past month, and you might have noticed this, but COVID cases have started to rise again following a pattern that we've seen over the last three years. The CDC is now warning that there is a new highly mutated variant. It's called BA 2.86, and it is apparently spreading worldwide. Yeah, for more on what this means, let's bring in internist with custom care medical Dr. Frank Contessa. Dr. Frank, I was telling Rob I was in Boston over the weekend. I saw a lot more people wearing masks. What's going on here? Should we be concerned? Well, good morning, Rob and Allison. Yeah, and the drums are starting to beat again. Uh, you're starting to see headlines uh, that the hospitalizations, uh, well, you see the headlines, the hospitalizations have surged. Um, they were up 14% uh, over the last week or two, which uh, still falls far below the levels that we saw during the, the part of the pandemic and even just a year ago. So, yeah, we are seeing a little bit of a, of a rise, and I've even seen some, some additional cases in the office. But by and large, they've been really mild. Um, you know, and, and when I say mild, you know, some people are still very sick. I don't want people to think that if you get uh, one of the newer strains of COVID and, you know, Dr. Frank is saying, hey, these are really mild, you know, you, you might still feel pretty lousy for a few days. But people, for the by and large, are not going to the hospital. They're not having severe outcomes. So, yeah, you might be sick for a few days, but even these newer strains, and they'll say, yes, they are mutated, they do spread rapidly, and they do spread easily, but they tend to cause relatively mild disease. Yeah, you're sick for three, four, five days a week, and then you get better. So I don't think we need to panic. I don't think we really need to go down the road of masking and, and lockdowns and and that whole okay. rigmarole. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Doc, that's what the CDC is recommending. Yeah. They're recommending that people wear masks again, and we followed this pattern. I just don't know how long we're going to continue to do this. Every fall, you know, we, we get into the fall, and all of a sudden, oh, COVID's back. Somebody, one of my friends, we were with uh, another couple last weekend, and we were with them, like, the entire weekend, and they got COVID, and they called us, and they are like, hey, we just want to make you aware. We were like, we don't really care. Yeah. It, it's fine. And guess what? We, we didn't get it. Um, FDA Commissioner, former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb, um, was on yesterday talking about these new boosters that are available that are out there to tackle this exact variant. Take a listen. This does look like it's going to be a flu-like paradigm where there's going to be new variants that emerge each year. Hopefully we'll guess right in terms of how we formulate the vaccines, but you're going to need updated protection like you do from flu to try to match the vaccine against the variants that's circulating. All right, hot take for you. I'm not getting boosted. Um, <laughs> would you, is there a percentage of the population that you would suggest get boosted? Because don't forget, there are people out there that have had like five, six, seven shots at this point. Yeah. At this, I'm going to tell you where I stand on this right now. And you can make the argument that the higher risk people might consider this. But here's the thing, you know, as they talk about a flu paradigm and hopefully we guess right. Well, they're not very good at guessing right on the flu shot. Mm. You know, right. um, the average year, you know, you might see a 20 percent effective. If they really do a good job, it might be 60 percent effective. But the flu vaccine has been around for 50 or 60 years. And I feel much more comfortable with that. We are really going to be dealing with a constant stream of boosters. And I think I've made this argument before where the reason that we don't have a vaccine for the common cold, we've been trying for a hundred and something years, is because they mutate so quickly and you can't keep up with it. That's what's going to happen with COVID. COVID, is, you know, coronaviruses in general mutate very quickly. So it's impossible to stay ahead of it. By the time you get a booster into somebody's arms, we're going to be a strain or two past that already. And, and, and another thing is that the Immunity conferred by mRNA vaccines, we are finding, is relatively short-lived. So you get your booster within, you know, a month, four to six weeks, you start to see waning of that already. And, by, and most people have had COVID several times. So mm -hmm. even though these are mutated forms, we still have some degree of innate immunity because almost everybody's had it. I saw the yeah. guy that I was with last weekend, yeah. so I saw him again this weekend, mm -hmm. right? I wasn't with him. We were together as couples. It wasn't like he and I ran away together for the weekend. <laughs> but he looked great. He lost weight, actually. He lost like three, four pounds, you know, just a little. It's, it's a cold. Yeah. Um, it's the, cold, yeah. the COVID diet. All right. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Frank Hunt says, so thank you so much. Good to see you, Dr. Frank. Thank you.